There is a dangerous crevice, a shadowy gulf that lies between two of the most revered pillars of our civilization, profit and laws. Here, idle chatter over drinks could lead to charges of restraint of trade. An eye for the best deal may be blinded to the ramifications of the antitrust laws. Even an attempt to reassure a shaky client could be regarded under the law as a conspiracy to divide markets. Witness Harold Anderson, banker and innocent abroad in the twilight zone between profit and laws. Well, how you know World Bank isn't exactly a shrinking violet when it comes to finding new markets. Well, I'm afraid I can't argue with that. And you know, bank directors, how when I approach my board to approve our arrangement, they're going to wonder if... Uh, what World Bank's intentions are vis-a-vis -vis Alaska. Yeah, well, put yourself in their shoes, Al. I mean, would you be anxious to do business with someone who's planning to go after your customers? By opening loan offices, eh? <laughs> I'm not sure I like the implications, Mark. Well... Uh, you don't understand World Bank very well, do you? Now, look, I don't mean anything by it. You can tell your board that if World Bank sets up a correspondent relationship with Bank Alaska, it's not about to turn around and sabotage your business. We don't work that way, Marv. World Bank may be aggressive, but uh, we are ethical. The prosecution asked that Harold Anderson be given the full penalty of the law three years imprisonment, and a fine of $100,000. Further, we ask that his employer, World Bank, be fined $1 million. We explain the guidelines, offer helpful advice to all those who must navigate a treacherous course in the twilight zone between profit and laws. Get a copy. It might save you some time.